but hello stevies welcome back to the channel today we are going to talk about this showy rfsr helmet i've had this helmet now for about 10,000 miles and i gotta tell you guys it is a great helmet now the helmet that i had before this one was the icon air flight i love that helmet but it was really loud inside the one I had before that was the Icon Alliance helmet. And the one that I had before that was the cheapo I bought off Amazon. My Icon Air Flight, the thing that I liked about that one was that it was kind of shaped like a bullet. So it went through the air like crazy. Your head almost got lighter the faster you went. This helmet is my very first premium helmet that I've ever had. And I, I really like this helmet. Now before I got this helmet, my wife got a Showy Neotech, the first one, the modular helmet. She loves it. And I was kind of hee-hawing around about getting rid of my air flight because it was really, really loud inside. It, the shell and the, the helmet was big. It, it came down really, really far on my, on my neck. So my Senna was always up against my jacket or my shoulder and when I turned my head I turned my volume up and down. So I was talking to her about it and she said just get yourself a showy and be done with it. And of course I got a white one because I dig white and I got the, uh, the RFSR because let's face it it's the cheapest helmet the showy has. Now they, they say that the, the RF1200 is quite a bit quieter inside which would make a pretty big difference because this one is still a little bit on the loud side and then if you go up to the x14 you know it's crazy and the, the neotech 2 uh we got some buddies that have those and they really like those too the, the thing i like about this helmet is that with my camera on this helmet it's still lighter than my air flight was without the camera so it's a really light helmet which is also in fact why it's pretty loud inside but it's very comfortable that I I like the interior of the showy helmet um, I like the way that it feels it's really soft and it feels good and now it's broken so I don't feel like I'm chubby cheeks you know and stuff getting smashed together anymore but the thing that I really liked about my air flight and even my Alliance helmet was like the neoprene uh, material inside of it I really liked that that I never felt it never felt wet you know it was like a wetsuit material so it never felt wet the, the this is more of like a cloth interior and this holds moisture and you really feel it if you're really hot and you take it off and you put it back on you're like oh my gosh it's soaked I never felt that with my air flight helmet and I rode on some really hot days in that air flight helmet not, I'm not saying that I'd want the air flight helmet over this one though. Don't get me wrong. You can really tell with the, the features that this has. The, the vents that open and close. The, the way that they open and close is, is, is more of a satisfying click click feeling. You know and stuff. And the vent on the front, if my camera's not in the way, the vent on the front really blows air up onto your forehead because my air flight had that great big vent on the front and I could open that and I would like I'd like feel air gushing into my helmet I mean this one doesn't have that vent on the inside it has the vent on the front but it doesn't have the vent that just blows right onto your mouth but this vent when you open it I think it's actually supposed to blow onto the visor to like defog it that that airflow comes up and hits the visor and then it, it blows right on my forehead which I <laughs> that feels awesome so the, the airflow is, eh, it's better than my air flight was, but the air flight, especially if you're able to open up that vent on the front, the air flight had a lot of air movement through it and it really, it really cooled you down. That, uh, the air flight was a great helmet. This one is just, it's better, you know what I mean? <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Go stay. Go stay. So another, another way that my air flight might have been a little bit better than my Shoei is just because it was a bigger helmet, I had more stuff for my, more room for my microphones and my microphone wires because there's not a lot of room in here. And maybe someday I'll do a, if I ever get a new helmet, I will, uh, 
I'll show you how I did this one. Unless I have to do the other one the same way, and then I'm not gonna I'm not gonna show you. One other thing about the air flight helmet though was that I never had a pin lock. You know, it wasn't pin lock available for it. Now there is. You can get pin lock visors for it. But I never needed it. It never fogged up. Have your if you don't have the camera on the front then I can open up this vent and that vent as long as I'm moving will clear it off but otherwise it will fog up like crazy and if I'm wearing my <laughs> my old eyeglasses that don't have the the anti-fog thing on them then I get the shield fogging up and then I get my glasses fogging up and I can't see a thing that's that's awesome let me tell you now I gotta open up the visor and which is not a big deal because I mean, that's another thing about this helmet. When I opened up that air flight visor when I was riding down the road, it felt like I was going to take flight with the air flight helmet. That was, that didn't, that didn't sound right. But it felt like it was gonna pull it off of my head. This one, I can open this up, going 70 mile an hour. It doesn't feel like it's gonna pull off of my head, but my eyes are drying out. And when you wear contacts, that's like the last thing you want, right, is your eyes drying out so when the air flight visor came down it clicked right here in the front because the visor came all the way down in the front right there was like a click right here and you could open it up with either hand I really like that this one you got to use your left hand to do it I can do it with my right hand it's just not as easy but then when I do get it down I've still got to come up here with my left hand and click it down not not a big deal at all it's just it's just one of them other things about it, right? But another thing about this helmet is the visor. The visor is is dark. It's it's good dark, you know. Maybe we should go in first gear when we start out. That might make a pretty big difference on whether or not you're going to move or not, right? But the visor is dark. It is it's good dark. There are times though, like in the evening when you're riding right into the sun, I want to do like what we used to do in the old sport bike days, you know, put the put the black piece of tape <laughs> across the top so that you can put your head down and block the sun. I have ridden in this helmet with sunglasses on too. It's, it, it you can do it, but it's not the most comfortable thing in the world, but that's one of the best things about wearing a full face helmet is that you don't have to wear glasses or goggles but this helmet has got this helmet's got the looks why did you shut off oh you piece of i mean and it's this is a showy helmet is a really good looking helmet i mean showy makes really cool stuff and this being the bottom of their barrel as it were you know kind of i mean it is supposedly it's still a great helmet it's very very comfortable it's uh <laughs> i'm gonna lose this mount i'm gonna throw it out though i'm gonna throw it on the ground here in a second i'm gonna take my gopro off of it first but i'm gonna throw it on the ground done with it do, 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 don't mind me it's the youtuber th problem I'll beat you I'm gonna win one way or the other I guarantee it Hashtag winning. There, now you get another.
another angle of my helmet. How about that? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There you go. That's all, dude. That's much better. You know, be filling with this the whole time. I mean, with this being the bottom rung of the showy helmet, it's still better than you know ninety percent of the helmets out there. I mean, let's face it. It's it's a showy helmet. Showy makes awesome stuff. You know, their helmets are handmade. I mean, they're not the only ones that are handmade, don't get me wrong. But I don't see myself needing a new helmet anytime soon. I, I'm, I'm happy with this one. I like it a lot. And for the price, you can get a lot of helmets for this price, right? I mean, there's, there's a lot of them out there that that are cheaper than this. My air flight helmet um, was was a lot cheaper than this. I think I spent 230 bucks for my air flight helmet because I got it on sale at Revzilla. And this one is up there in that 399 range. So, so I mean, they're expensive, but you get what you pay for with the helmet, right? I mean, that's the way it's always been. With the helmet, you get what you pay for, and this is not just some cheap shell on the outside. I mean, it's it's a handmade it's a handmade helmet. It's it's got automotive paint on it. Also, I can wax this helmet. Which I haven't done yet. That's a really good idea. I should do that though because the bugs will come off of it a lot easier. But with Norwex, they come off super easy anyway. You use the Enviro cloth and you wet it because it's got silver in it and it just wipes right off i mean the visor you can use it on the shell and then you use the window cloth and you, you wipe it off with the window cloth and it's like a it's like a perfectly crystal clear visor not that i know what a crystal visor would be like but This is uh, Lake Oahu, I think. I think that's what they call it anyway. It's a uh, gold one. I've put uh, 10,000 miles easy in this helmet. I haven't kept perfect track, but I'm, I'm well over 10,000. I've done a lot of trips with it. Been up to the Black Hills twice. Eureka Springs, uh, all around. I mean, we've, I've done some some pretty long trips with it. It did 800 miles in one day in it here not too long ago, and it was it was comfortable. I had no complaints, and I really think that that's probably the best compliment that you can give a helmet, because wearing a helmet sucks, right? I mean, but. I mean, we're not stupid, we're going to wear one, you know, because, I mean, you got a better chance, you know what I mean? But, the, I think the best thing that you can say about a helmet, I mean, you always hear, yeah, it's great, but it hurts here, or it might hurt here, or it might hurt here. I can wear this helmet all day long, and, yeah, I wore my helmet all day, you know? I mean, I have nothing to complain about. I, I like it. It doesn't hurt anywhere when I wear it. It's a little bit loud on the inside, but that doesn't bug me, you know? It, I can, uh, it's not as loud as my air flight helmet was. And that's the one that I have most recent to compare it to, but... Um... And the, the chin guard is a good distance away from me, unless I'm like in like 50 mile an hour wind and I'm riding 60 mile an hour into that 50 mile an hour wind, it, it pushes up against me a little bit more. But right now I can't, I can't reach out and touch my chin guard. I can reach out and touch my center microphone and then I can reach the other way and I can touch my, my GoPro microphone now if I turn my head just like this, then I can feel my other GoPro microphone, but 
<laughs> so I've got, I'm asking this helmet to do a lot more than what the people who made it designed it to do. So I would, I would definitely recommend this helmet to, to anybody. If you want to go touring, um, if you want to just have something on your sport bike, they do say that, you know, for the extra money, the RF 1200 is more quiet, okay? But it's more sport bike oriented, where right now I can, I can look down and see my sonometer right there. Um, with the RF, RF 1200, they say you've got to, you got to crank down to look at it. But if you're on a big touring bike where all the gauges are right in front of you, you know, that doesn't matter, you know, it doesn't matter anymore, so. And the, the Neotech, you know, obviously is a modular helmet. It's so, it's not as safe as a full face helmet, but you can, you can raise the, the front up and you can take a drink or stuff like that, you know, which would be pretty nice at times, I think, to be able to do that. Now, for me to take a drink wearing this, I have to put this up, and then I have to turn this all the way down, and then I have to kind of hope that I can get it in there, you know? But I don't, I don't know, I don't really take a lot of drinks while I'm riding down the road. I should, because staying hydrated, I bet I could go a lot farther. So I think I'm going to end this video here out in the middle of nowhere i want to thank miss stevie for for kind of bearing the weight of the channel and plus still doing all her norwex stuff too i know that's all really demanding but everybody if you like this video hit the like button if you want to see more stuff like this subscribe hit the bell notification so you know when we load up next and until next time everybody stay cool and we will see you on the road oh there's a Oh, right there. See you on the road.